So this video will be a quick tutorial on how to do string comparisons in Bash. So let's just list our operators first. So our first one here is the equals operator. This tells us whether or not one string is equal to the other. And in Bash you have two options, the equals and the double equals. So the they work the same, they're just written slightly differently. Uh, but the main difference is that the equals is a portable standard and the double equals is a bash specific operator that I believe was inherited from ZSH. So our next operator here is not equals. So is one string not equal to another? Our next operator here is the expression. Uh, operator so it tries to find a pattern within a string our next one here is greater than and for strings this will just tell you is one string uh, alphabetically like in a dictionary greater than the other so is it ordered ahead of another the next one is just the opposite of that is one string ordered uh, less than another string and our next operator, the dash z, uh, returns true if the length of a string is zero. So if it's uh, null, it returns true. And the dash n uh, is the opposite of that. So it returns uh, true if not null. So here I've just prepped some variables uh, to test the script and uh, just have it out so that you don't have to watch me uh, type very slowly. So uh, let's just go through a few if statements here just to show how things are written. So our first one here is checking for equivalence. So uh, if the variable x equals y, then we will echo uh, same. Uh, otherwise, we will echo different. So if the strings are equal, we say same. If not, different. Uh, the next one here is the same exact thing except that we're using the double equals and this is just written slightly differently with two brackets rather than one but it's the same thing our next one here is actually uh, sort of not related but I added it here because of the Z and N operators but uh, this is a shorthand form of writing an if statement so instead of having the whole giant if you can just have your brackets here set up you chain that with a and then you do whatever you want to do in the true um, if, if the statement turns out to be true and then you you add this or here and then you do whatever you want to do if the statement is uh, is not true if it's anything else so this is just a quick shorthand way of doing the if statement that just looks really nice all right, and uh, I didn't mention this before, but the for the pattern matching, you have this option of actually uh, using the double equals to uh, find uh, patterns within strings. So here, it's the same thing except that you have these uh, asterisks here. And once you do this, it will try to find this uh, string within the the first string that you've written here within your your variable here uh, and if it finds it it'll echo out found if not it'll say not found and here this is doing the exact same thing except it is in short form and also it's using the regular expression uh, operator the only difference here is uh, the fact that there are these two dots here and no quotations but it works the same as the other and here in this if block here we have uh, checking for alphabetical ordering so if a is greater than b then what does that mean it just says that the variable a alphabetically is ordered ahead of b uh, if uh, another if that we have here is if uh, a is ordered less than b so then that means that b is uh, uh, greater than a and then otherwise the strings are you know they're equal All right so our last two here are very easy 
and all we have to do is write the dash n, uh, our string or variable, and we then chain it with the ands here, and then you, if it turns out to be uh, true that it is not null, then you can echo out here like I did or do some other uh, statement. And finally here, we have the dash z, and this will return if a string is null. So it's the same thing as n, except it's the opposite. Um, but that's about it. Uh, this was just a very brief explanation on how to do string comparisons in Bash. And um, I did this because Bash is the, I guess it's the standard in most uh, Linux distros. And this is, you know, it's very easy to understand. If you're familiar with programming, you should be able to pick this up fairly quickly. So, yeah, I hope that you found this useful.